Elsie. Welcome back to your fourth installment of Elsie TV. I'm Kayla Kishka. And I'm Nolan Dara. On this week's episode, we'll be recapping homecoming, introducing a student entrepreneur, and visiting our favorite fall spots. We just wanted to send a sunshine shout out to two teachers who are running the Chicago Marathon. Mrs. Grosek. Mrs. Klein. Good luck, we are cheering you on. Let's go ladies. Woo! And now here's five things Elsie is talking about. Lake Central is hosting their annual blood drive on October 18th. See Miss York for more information in room C312. Teachers, the coffee cart is now serving coffee and tea in the mornings. If you would like to order something else, visit this Google form. Picture retakes will take place on Thursday, October 17th. Seniors, baby ads are now available to purchase. The deadline is November 1st. The entrepreneurs of LC are creating a nonprofit student run business. Here's all the information you need to know. We are students of the entrepreneurship class and we're starting a student run business. And we have noticed that every girl we ask has extra old dresses they don't want. So we, was, we came up with Redress, a store for students where they can donate a dress or they can take a dress if they want and basically reuse old dresses or any other dresses that they bought but don't want to wear anymore. Speaking of dresses, here's a recap of your homecoming night. I bet you got some good pictures that night. Definitely better than the ones you're about to see these teachers. Today, we'll be surprising some of LC's teachers with old photos from their past and asking them to sign them. Let's see their reactions. Mr. Gargino, Mr. Gargino. Hi, can you sign this for us, please, please, please? We're such huge fans. There you go. Oh my gosh, stop! This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Gargino. <laughs> Mr. Sango, Mr. Sango, can you sign this for me, please? Can I sign it? Yes. Oh, where did you find it? That's like my freshman. Yes. <laughs> where am I signing? Anywhere. Alright. Huge fan. Huge fan. Yeah. Hi guys! Hi. What's up? Can I can you sign something? I'm a I'm a huge fan. I need you to sign something, please. Can you I'm please? <laughs> sure. Do you have a pen? Yes. Where did you guys even get this? Sign for me. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Where did you find this? Please this sign. is probably like the only, you know, picture I got on, uh, you know, the entirety of everything. Yep. There you go. Yeah, Mr. Wester, Mr. Wester, can you sign this? Where did you get this from? 
Where did you get this from? Found it. Found Have you it. been fight on my Facebook page? Someone who's been on my, who's been hunting me down on Facebook. You sign this? Yes, yes. You want me please. to sign this? Okay. Big yeah, room. There you go. Thank you. Do you know what else you can find online? Olivia P. Lott's Depop Shop. Well, I could go for some new clothes. Oh, hey, come on in. Uh, I started uh, reselling clothes in my shop uh, towards the end of summer more um, because as I was getting closer to the school year, I like kind of was realizing like maybe this, this Goodwill job is not going to work. I'm not going to be able to balance soccer school and um, work. So after I talked to my friends and I completely ended up like quitting my job, and I just, you know, started kind of running this up at the end of summer. On the weekends, I really try to, you know, do my sourcing. So, you know, going to garage sales, going to Goodwill, you know, talking to friends and family. Hey, do you have any items, you know, I could resell? And then on, you know, a weekday that I don't have a game or I don't have practice, I'll come um, over here, take some pictures, get my posts together for the week. And then throughout the week, I'll post them, but which I could just post them from my phone, so it's really easy. Um, and then I'll choose one or two days a week where I come here and package my items and ship them out. Um, as far as Depop, there's an app or there's a website and you could go on there and for me to know a customer wants an item, they could either send me an offer for a lower price and I could accept it or decline it. Or if they like my item, I could send them an offer for a lower price and they could accept or decline that as well. Or they could also counter it and say, you know, if I say, hey, 25 bucks, they could say, no, 23, and then we could go back and forth, kind of like a bargain. As far as shipping goes, I like to use Pirate Ship. Um, it creates my own label. I kind of just put the person's address in, put the weight in of the item and then it'll generate a label for me and I can purchase the label and print it out right here at home on my own shipping label printer. Nolan, I think you should really pick up that side hustle. I agree. Now here's Peyton and Fati for this week's sports update. Hey LC, I'm Peyton Morris. And I'm Fati Cervantes. And welcome back to this week's sports update. Our football team sadly lost to Chesterton in a close matchup last week. They placed the Maryville Pirates at 7 at Maryville. Best of luck, boys. We're wishing our cheer team the best of luck as they travel to Northwood High School to compete tomorrow. Good luck, girls. Our boys soccer team ended the season with a huge DAC win by beating Balpo, leaving them third in the conference. Congrats, boys. Our girls soccer team pulled out an amazing win against Valpo, leaving them second in the DAC. Well done, girls. Our girls volleyball team traveled to Carroll High School to play in the Carroll High School Classic, but sadly fell to Carroll and Angola. Our boys and girls cross country teams both had amazing weekends, both taking the title of DAC champs. This is the first time in school history that the boys have won. On the girls side, this is their first time winning since joining the DAC. Best of luck finishing out the rest of your season. Congratulations to our girls golf team for having a successful season, finishing 15th in the state. We'd also like to recognize Coach Gernack for receiving the 2024 Girls Golf Coach of the Year Award. Thank you for everything you do for the program. Now let's hand it over to Joelle for this week's Athlete of the Week. Hi, I'm Joelle Serbenta. Today I'm here with Macy Urbanski for this episode's Athlete of the Week. This the Game of Thrones. So Macy, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm a senior on the golf team. I've been playing for about four years. I started my freshman year and this past season has been a ride, that's for sure, but we did really well this season. So Macy, this past weekend the girls golf team went to state. Can you tell me a little bit about that experience? It was a crazy experience. It was a lot of golf in a short span of days, but I think overall it was just such an amazing experience to go down there. That was our goal all season. And to reach that and get to play with my amazing teammates, it was so much fun and I loved it. Hey, what's been your favorite moment of this season? I would have to say winning regionals for sure. I mean, we went in there just trying to get top three to make it to state and we came out on top and it was just surreal for everyone there. And it was just a crazy experience overall. And to get that title, it was just unreal. So how do you keep your composure on the golf course with golf being such an individual sport? It's really challenging. I've struggled a lot over the years keeping it together through the round. You can have a stretch of four bad holes, but if it gets to you, then your round is ruined. And if you're able to bounce back from a bad hole, then that's how you become a good golfer and you know you made it. Thank you for talking with us, Macy. And I'll see you next time for our new Athlete of the Week. And that's it for this week's sports update. See you next time. All that talk of sports has me really hungry. Good thing I know a new place you can go to. The Scrambled Diner is a family restaurant located on West 81st Avenue in Dyer. Let's talk to some staff to see why they love the Scrambled Diner. I 
really like the fact that we make so many people happy. People come here to meet for special occasions. I mean, sometimes they do come when they're sad about things too, but people gather here. It's not just to eat, it's to have moments and create memories. My husband went to culinary school and we worked downtown at Gibson Steakhouse together. I went to Purdue University for restaurant management um, and we both worked crazy days and nights and we're never seeing each other so we decided one day when we had a family we would open a breakfast and lunch spot that way we could always be home for dinner every night so we've been here 15 years and opened when the kids were six months old and two and it's worked out really well I would recommend this job to other people because it's really fun working there we all are friends and everybody's really friendly and yeah, it's just a nice job, and it's nice you only have to work two days a week at most. I like working at Scrambled because I get to work with all my friends. Everybody that works there, we're all friends, and we all like have a nice time. It makes the day go by really fast, just being able to like talk and... We make everything fresh. My husband works really hard back there to make, I mean, our ketchup, our hot sauce. We shred our own potatoes. We don't buy anything frozen. Um, we create a super fun friendly atmosphere, um, so I think that we do a really good job at creating that. That place seems really cheerful. We'll have to go visit sometime. You know it's also cheerful? These quotes of the day. Everyone needs an uplifting message from time to time. Today we spoke to some LC students about their favorite messages for today's quote of the day. So I chose to talk about why butterflies don't fly in the rain because the rain damages their wings. So the correlation is that when you have a storm in your life, it's okay to rest because you will always fly again. Okay, so we keep moving forward, opening new doors and doing new things because we're curious and curiosity keeps leading us down new paths. And the quotes by Walt Disney. I chose this quote because as we grow up, we get more curious and the more curiosity you have, you can get like, do like get a cool job, do new activities or join a cool club. So for my positive quote, I did tell a friend something nice and it could change their life. And like I did that because you never know what people are going through in life, and yeah. I feel inspired. You know what else is inspiring? Elsie's Bible class. Schedule of the class, we meet on fourth block. On, which is blue days. Last summer there was a parent that had came to us and just mentioned it so we didn't know actually that this was a possibility. And there's some students that were interested in taking something like this during their school day. So we're like, hey, we can put this together. It'd be a cool opportunity for us to hang out at LC a little bit, connect with some new students, um, and just teach more about the Bible. A student doesn't need to come prepared to having any knowledge of the Bible. The whole idea of the class is to give people an opportunity to understand a little bit, to ask questions. It can be a confusing book, lots of things are going on. And so our hope is that we can just give students a chance to unpack a little bit um, and have their own perspective thrown in there. I think it's a really good class and I think it's like really cool to like learn more about like the Bible. It consists of reading Bible verses and reading the books of the Bible from the Old Testament and then talking about it. Like creating the curriculum is fun because getting to put together lessons that, that go through the Bible um, piece by piece and go like what's going on in this story and why does it matter for my life today is really fun to me because we get to see like actually what the story of the Bible is from front to back. I think it's been pretty fun. I enjoy it. So yeah, it's been good. That was sweet. You know, Elsa's a sweet treat. Funny you said that. Here's a quick word from Essential Nutrition. Come stop by to get your energized tea today, a pre or post workout protein shake, or even a protein iced coffee. We hope to see you soon. I wonder if they have a fall menu. I don't think so, but here are some fun fall activities you can go enjoy. Hey LC, with the fall season beginning, here are some fall fun spots for you and your friends to visit. Countyline Orchard is home to many fun fall festivities such as finding the perfect pumpkin, apple picking, tractor rides, 
And when it's time to leave, you can stop by and get some apple cider and cinnamon donuts. As the days get colder, the comfort of a drink at Sip Coffee House in Crown Point will cheer you up. Or you can get cozy and watch a scary movie with your friends and family. Also in Crown Point, if you're looking to get spooked with your friends, Criminally Insane Haunted House is opening up in October. Thank you for joining us, LC. Wishing you a fun, festive fall season. I can't wait to cross those off my bucket list. Want to join me? We'll see. Well, that's it for today, LC. I'm Kayla Kishka. And I'm Nolan Dyer. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube and other social media platforms. Thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time. Bye. Bye. Ms. <laughs> Collar, I need a, I'm a huge fan, I need you to, can you sign this please? Yes, I can sign this. Oh, you look cute. Okay, come on in. Is that thing? I can't. Take 17. Here you go. Yeah,